It's a vitally important campaign for us. It's a sign the holidays are here, the Salvation Army Christmas Kettle Campaign. But this year, the amount of donations coming in are a sign of how many people are struggling financially. Our donations are down somewhat. The Salvation Army says in B.C. its kettle campaign, which is about halfway through, is down $300,000 compared to what it had at this point last year. It's a bit of a concern for us. Um, we'd like to see that number obviously go up and we'd like to see, you know, uh, people uh, make their donations and, and fill that kettle so that we can provide hope to and help to the people that, that come to our doors. There are some charities that, you know, are still seeing fundraising dollars come through, but I would say overall, um, you know, there has been a very overlying trend in terms of flatlining and donations. Canada Helps aims to make giving as easy as possible. According to an Ipsos poll done for the charity in November, 20% of Canadians polled have scaled back their giving this year with 74% of those surveyed blaming it on the rising cost of living. The group says this comes at a time when many charities are seeing a rise in demand. Unfortunately, for some organizations, it may essentially mean that they you know, we'll have to turn individuals away. And those are individuals who need help and support. So um, it is quite concerning. The need for donations uh, far outpaces what, you know, what, what's actually coming in. Mission Possible in Vancouver, which helps people find meaningful work, says it's seen a 100% increase in demand since the pandemic. While it says it's too soon to know if there's been a dip in donations, it's a concern. We rely on donations to run our programs. And if those start to decline, then we, we really run the risk of not being able to provide services for those who need them. Canada Helps says those Canadians who are able to donate can help by doing so this holiday season. It's really important for uh, folks who can to continue to give and, and make sure that the support is there for those who need it. We live in the most generous province in Canada, so I believe that, that British Columbians will come through and help us provide the hope to people that need it the most. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.